and I'll also be creating a couple of holes in the cap for additional barb fittings. But uh, I wanted to show you that uh, what I do is I take the square head MIP thread, quarter inch MIP thread, and I start it into a half inch hole. I pre-drilled the holes with a half inch bit into the side of the tube. And I've started it, I started the thread in, but it will not go in by itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a torch. And I'm just going to warm it up enough to get it to melt the plastic slightly. And as it gets warm enough, I can take it and screw it in. Once the threaded fitting is all the way into the PVC tube, I'll simply let it cool a little bit and then back it out and I'll have my formed threads inside the PVC. Now I, I can see by watching the edge of the threads, I can see the PVC beginning to melt a little bit, so I'm just going to test it, take my pliers, and start turning and see how easily it goes. And it's going quite easily now, so I'm just going to keep going. And I'm going to thread it in. There we go. Oh, that's nice. All right. I'm just going to stop it right there. I'm going to let it cool a little bit, and then when I back the threads out, I'm going to have a nice formed uh, thread where I can take my fitting, which I'll get out of the box here, somewhere down here. Yep, there you go. These right angle nylon fittings are Watts number A-199 at your local hardware store or lumber yard, wherever you get your materials. That's pretty good. You can touch it. And that's not too bad. I can see the threads along the side walls inside here. And my nylon fitting now is just thread into this, like so. I'll put another one at the top, join them with a sight tube, and then I'll have a level indicator for my bubbler. This bubbler is a 2 inch inside diameter PVC tube. The PVC tube section is 8 inches long. I have an end cap on this side, a clean out cap on this side, and the level inside will probably only be to about here. I have to allow a lot of room for activity inside before it reaches the top because of how fast the gas is being produced by the electrolyzer cell under vacuum. The uh, short one that I had in a previous video strapped to the side of the cell just isn't tall enough to contain the fluid. That's how fast it's going through. So just wanted to show you that little tip. Have fun just making show you the uh, completed bubbler. I'll sit like this. All right. You can see the sight tubes along the edge. Take this off here. See what I've done to create the bubbler is just a sort of straw into the fitting at the bottom that goes through the top. My outlet is to the side, and to determine how deep the straw goes, I just hold this up to the edge here, and I can see that the straw just about reaches the, the bottom. So when it's fully assembled, like so, okay, the fluid level will be up to about here, and it will have all this space stuffed with um, 
stainless steel wool, 316 stainless steel wool to act as a dryer and keep the uh, outlet from passing any fluid. There's a little space here that I rely on to keep my hands warm. And uh, I wanted to mention also that I have a, uh, a newsletter that I've started. The uh, subscriber list is growing pretty rapidly. You can 